This is it. The Tour de Suisse 2024, the last time the cycling stars will clash ahead of the Tour de France two weeks later. The Swiss stage race is all about the mountains. It's a prestigious race in its own right and a grueling eight-day alpine final examination for the Tour. The climbers are in for a treat because in the eight days of action, there are four mountain finishes. Yes, there is a time trial, but it's a mountain time trial and it will confirm the race winner on the last day. The Tour de Suisse begins with a bit of a nothing burger, a time trial of 4.8 kilometers, a short stage, will also allow you to concentrate on the Criterium du Dauphiné, which wraps up on the same day over the border in France. Stage two could be a sprint, but the following days in skywards, the Gothard Pass, stage four finishes at 2,000 meters, stages five, six, and seven, none as high as the Gothard, but all equally decisive. Then there is a stage eight time trial, which climbs 800 meters in the final nine kilometers of the stage. The start list is still being finalized, but we can confirm Jao Almeida will be leading the team UAE Emirates, with Tadej Pogacar still setting out and resting, training for the Tour de France after his Giro d'Italia win. New Mexican star Isaac Del Toro is also in the team. Tom Pickock will lead Team Ineos with the 2019 Swiss winner Egan Bernal perhaps also in the team ahead of his Tour de France ride. Nielsen Paulus returning to his best form before the Tour. The American will be there fighting alongside his EF education teammate Richard Carapaz, a recent Tour de Romandie stage winner. Spaniard Enrique Moss leads Team Movistar. Danish rider Matthias Skilmos of Team Lidl Trek is back to defend his title. Remember, he won the 2023 edition, which was marked by the crash and death of Gino Mater. On the sprint side, Mark Cavendish races to show some strong signals before taking a crack at breaking the stage win record at the Tour de France. If stage two does come to a sprint, I'd be looking more towards Arnold De Lee of Team Lotto Destiny, Brian Cocard, Team Cofidis, and for sure, Thibaut Nice of Lidl Trek. The Tour de Suisse will be live and on demand for Flow Bikes viewers in the US, Canada, and Australia. And for everyone worldwide, we have highlights interviews, and comprehensive race coverage. If you're liking this cycling coverage and want more stage racing goodness as we transfer towards the Tour de France beginning June 29th, make sure you're subscribed, click that button right down below, and join the community. Mountains, mountains, and yes, more mountains. This is the Tour de Suisse, the final test ahead of the 2024 Tour de France.